Once we figured out that we wanted to go with the younger version of this and really make it a fresh new thing and do an origin story, Henry seemed like the obvious first choice for Napoleon Solo, and Army felt like the right person for Kuryakin. Henry just works as Napoleon. He sort of captured a Bond-esque attitude. Jack Devaney, checking in. Like other projects I've done, I wanted to make this my own thing as opposed to inadvertently copying someone else's performance. I wanted to build my own character from the script. If I had 15 minutes, we'd drink tea, eat biscuits, I'd talk, you'd laugh. Unfortunately, I don't. Who are you and what do you want? My name is Napoleon Solo. Napoleon Solo is the man with the gift of the gab. He's very smooth. He's a ladies' man. Napoleon Solo is a master of evasion. He was dealing antiques in the black market. And the CIA then jumped in and said, instead of going to jail, how about you work for us? Remind me, Solo, how long was your prison sentence? Napoleon is this unruly and insolent agent. We don't pay you enough to be able to put truffles in your risotto, so long. But for him, it's certainly better than being in jail because it means he can still wear nice suits and nice shoes and ties and stuff. You're not very good at this whole subtlety thing, are you? This is not the Russian way. Ilya Kuryakin grew up in the system. He's very by the book. He's very calculating. Kuryakin was always the strong, silent, handsome type, and he's more primitive, if you like, primal. I think you should look out the window. He's trying to stop the car. <laughs> One of those actors who brings his own thing to the role, genuinely. Army is such a nice guy. He makes me laugh every day. Both Henry and Nami were spectacular to work with, and they got the tone very quickly. Absolutely hated working with you, Peril. Fortunately, it's nothing like our characters. If anything, I'd say we have an alarming amount of stuff in common. We both sort of have the same outlook on this movie, and we both enjoyed the movie enormously. He's a great guy. He's a constant professional. He's been, he's been mm. great to work with. Oh, Henry's super funny. I wonder what they do to people without imitations. And Army's like, he's a wholesome, nice guy. And we beat the out of each other the whole time. So it's really kind of funny. But at the same time, we have a, a great time doing it because, you know, they're great partners to play with. Oh! The stunts in this movie, they'd either be to the point of dangerous that it wasn't worth doing and done on a second unit. And the other stuff was OK. Stand by to do this, Stand by, boys and girls. You know, we did some swimming stuff, did some driving stuff. Nicely done. Good old army's very handy on a motorbike. We managed to submerge a truck under the water, allowing only little bits of seeping water to come into that environment. And then we allow that water to fill up that void. And then once that had been filled, Henry swam out through the window. Good land, Henry. Just in front of you. Right, you want to get it just before the water starts getting to it. Really? All right. He did it twice. We rehearsed it once with him, and he watched the stuntman do it. And then uh, we put Henry into it, and, um, and he did better than the stunt guy, and uh, really sold the shot. If it gets into panic mode, it's a big across. That would help. <laughs> yeah. And that is, is great testament to Henry, because he's a very competent guy and, and extremely fit. So. Oh, yeah. Goodness, I've got gloves on. <laughs> Stunts and effects like that can only even be done when you have the collaboration of, of an artist like Henry. As much as you can get the actors to do, the better you are. We're blessed that Army and Henry are such great guys. They want to do everything they can themselves in the nicest possible way. <laughs> in the boat chase, Army in particular had to do a lot of driving of the boat. He's a natural. He jumped into the boat and he drove the boat around. So it gave us the freedom to film Army in the boat doing pretty much everything. But, well, not pretty much, he did do everything. Not bad with a little parallel park. And again, in saying that Henry drove the buggy in the off-road chase, you'll see Henry driving that buggy. Henry jumped in it, drove it, did an awful lot of it, and it looks fantastic. It's just as much fun as it looks.